Hey, Johnny Mullet here. Been trying to make this video for you guys. If you got a vehicle with the electronic parking brake um, and you want to do a brake job, sometimes you need a scanner or special tools. I'm going to show you a way to do this to retract the electric parking brake without a special tool. And it's quite simple. And I've done this on Ford, Kia, Hyundai, Honda, and numerous other vehicles with no issues whatsoever. So let me show you what we got. Okay, this happens to be a Hyundai Santa Fe and it has electronic parking brake. And in order to replace the pads, I got to retract the caliper, but with the electric parking brake motor, it is hard to do. Uh, this kind of connector here, I usually do this with all these. Is I got this uh, bent paper clip and I just pry this tab and off she comes. If you look inside here, let me grab a little. You're gonna see two terminals. So basically this is a reversible motor, 12 volt. So if you look here, I have a auxiliary battery and some jumper leads. So let me show you how to do this. Alrighty, real quick, I have one lead to one and I have the other one ready to go. You gotta listen for what's gonna happen when you hit it. If you notice it stopped right away, that means you uh, engaged it tighter. So all you have to do is reverse the lead. And we're gonna go the opposite way. If I can get this on there to stay. Kinda hard to do one-handed here. I like using an auxiliary battery for this instead of uh, the car battery, just in case you short something. So here we go. And there it is. That's how you do that. Easy peasy. You just run it. And if it goes real quick, you just reverse the polarity um, from one side to the other and wait till the motor backs all the way off and you hear it change pitch, you know you're all the way off. And then you will know That the caliper should be able to retract. As you see here, I can push that piston all the way back. No problem. And now you're ready to replace your brakes and rotors, whatever you need to do. Now, when you put it all together, you do not have to do this again. Simply get in the vehicle and set the parking brake, release the parking brake a couple times and you are good to go. So hopefully you learned something today. Any uh, specialists out there wanna tell me that this is not a good way to do it, let me know. So I hope you all learned something today. Um, it's a good shortcut. I've used this on many, many, many vehicles and never had an issue with the parking brake not working or um, check engine codes or brake codes or any issues like that some of these motors you can pull off and manually back off like honda um, hyundai and so forth but uh other ones like ford and stuff you can't and uh requires a special tool or a scanner or whatever to do the job the procedure i just showed you is the easiest method in my opinion and i never had an issue so any experts out there have a different opinion and tell me i'm doing it wrong or i'm going to screw something up let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to hear your take. Like I said, all it is is a reversible 12 volt motor. So this might save you some time and money down the road. So check it out. Try it out yourself. Let me know what you think.
you all have a great one now.